Go Big or Go Home Cosplay. And today I'm here with Plaid Cosplay making horns for this beautiful Druid Helm. I love it because it features a moss finish with wood grain texture and a metallic sheen. Be sure to check out the description for all the products used and let's get started. To start off, be sure to check out our free downloadable template on how to make these horns. This tutorial is going to go over all the painting techniques. This is what the horns look like after they're constructed. Let's get started. Time to grab a respirator and a wood burner. Test out on a sample piece to make sure that the wood burner is hot enough to begin. We'll be making natural horn texture by creating random grooves using the wood burner. The goal here is to not be perfect. We want these to be scattered throughout, but keeping an organic feel. We're gonna add this texture all the way up to the top of the horn. Let's prime the horns. We're gonna be using water and a flat brush with Mod Podge Mat. Go ahead and dip your brush into the jar and start applying. We're gonna do this all over the horn. Make sure not to get it too thick in any of the small grooves because we don't want to lose any of that texture we created with the wood burner. With a clean flat brush, we're going to be applying a base coat of Folk Art Teddy Bear Brown. Make sure to have even coverage and apply two coats. Allow time to dry in between each layer. This is what your horn looks like after the two layers have dried. For this next step, we're going to use a flat brush and some water. Using Folk Art Real Brown mix one to one ratio with water. We're gonna be doing a wash where it goes into the recesses, all those tiny details where we use the wood burner to add texture. Apply in small areas, making sure not to allow the paint to dry too quickly. Go back and wipe away any of the paint that's not needed. You can also use the flat brush in a dabbing motion to apply depth back into your horn. Once dry, you can also go back in with Teddy Bear Brown again for any areas that you might like to touch up. To help protect our paint job, we're going to be using a new product called Mod Podge Ultra. Make sure to shake well and press firmly away from your piece, getting the first spray out. Then you can apply to the rest of your piece. This is great because it has no brush strokes, durable, and it's non-tacky. To add something fun and special to our horns, let's add some gold. Do this by using a flat brush and going along each tier, just focusing on the top. While applying, if you need to use your finger to blend the gold into the brown, that's totally okay. Here's what it looks like. The gold is so pretty. Using a scruffy brush, we're gonna create a moss finish on these horns. Let's talk about this really awesome product. It's Folk Art Painted Finishes in Moss. It's a dimensional paint that comes in dark and light colors. I really love it because it has a textured finish and it's flexible. With a dabbing motion, alternate between both colors. For the final step, we're gonna go back in with the real brown and add some shading in to all of those recesses that we made using the wood burner. All right, this is what your horn looks like. They're ready to be attached onto a headband or your wig and customized to make your druid really come to life. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope that you learned a lot about the techniques used making this druid's home. Be sure to like, follow, and share. And if you use any of these techniques, be sure to hashtag plaid crafts and plaid cosplay because we'd love to see your work too. Alrighty guys, happy crafting.